Got another question on the carbonyl compounds topic, and as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So we'll make a start. So to distinguish between the three compounds, aldehyde, ketone, and carboxylic acid, first thing you do is react all three with 2,4-D and P. The aldehyde and ketone both give orange precipitates, but there's no change with the carboxylic acid. So that's how you could identify that. You've got a couple of choices for the second test. So the one I've gone for is react the aldehyde and the ketone with acidified potassium dichromate 6. Only the aldehyde gives an orange to green colour change. There's no change with the ketone. And obviously that's how you would identify between those two. Alternatively, you could react the aldehyde and ketone with Tollens reagent. Again, only the aldehyde reacts and it'll give a silver mirror. So either of those two methods for the second test would be fine. Part B, only the carboxylic acid is going to give a broad absorption around this range of wave numbers, and that's due to the presence of the OH of the carboxylic acid group. Part C now, so this doublet at delta 0.9 ppm with the area of 6 indicates two equivalent methyl groups adjacent to a single hydrogen on a carbon, obviously. So we've got this structural feature in the aldehyde. So if we just look at how many atoms we've got left, so we've used three carbons, so there's two carbons left. We've used seven hydrogens, so there's three hydrogens left, and an oxygen, which means that the structure of the aldehyde must be that. Moving on to part D, so I've colour-coded the carbon environments in each of the ketones. So in ketone 1, we don't have any equivalent carbon environment, so there's five carbon environments in ketone 1. They're equivalent in ketone 2, but the rest are different. So there's four carbon environments in ketone 2, and we've got symmetry around this C double bond O. So one, two, three carbon environments in ketone 3. So if we look at the spectrum, we've got one, two, three, four carbon environments. It's obviously ketone 2. So we've got to say what the um, carbon responsible at delta 2, 10 is. So I'll just annotate the spectrum for that. That's a C double bond O environment. It hasn't asked for this, but I'll put this in anyway there. C, the C environment. And then how have I phrased my answer? I've just said the ketone has got four carbon environments. One C double bond O, three CCs. And then just run through the key, three ketones. Ketone one's got five carbon environments. So it's not that one. Ketone 3 has got three carbon environments. It's not that one. Ketone 2 has got four carbon environments. Yep, it's that one. 